from San Diego, make some noise. Yeah. Folks, welcome to the new THC. That's right, the holding company here in OB. The food is delicious. Folks, I want to say thank you, number one, first and foremost, to our sponsors for the show tonight. I want to give, say thank you, number one, to the game show. That's right. You guys will get a chance to see the future of our concerts with gaming and tournaments like we've done in the past, where you have chances to win cash and prizes, including Tiffany purses and Victoria's Secrets and stuff like that. Is that okay, ladies? Yeah. Folks, we also like to thank again Jetty. Make some noise for Jetty Extracts, folks. Yeah. Jetty Extracts has also helped us with the Two Roots beer. If you don't know the secret, you're not going to get any beer, but if you do want to try it out, they have the Two Roots beer downstairs and upstairs here for you guys to try out. Folks, we also like Therapy Tonics. Say thank you again to Therapy Tonics. Yeah. Again, these are all San Diego branded products. Yeah. All of these are San Diego. We, we've been smoke weed, folks. I'm going to introduce you guys, not only from the game show again, not only from the VR experience with Jose Perez. Again, if you guys get a chance, check out the VR here. He also has a place right down the street here on Newport. He also works with the Green Ammo Project to help military. So a lot of military people coming home trying to get Resituated. Please give some hand for him trying to help support that military. If it wasn't for them, we can't do what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, from Felony Records, Skip Jack! What's up, San Diego? Why don't you lay down here and die in my yard? As my tears kiss your cheeks, I feel you take Thanks, Thank you so much. KNSJ 89.1, it's your boy, Zach the Machine or Dean. I'm here with Skip Jack. What's up, brother? How are you feeling today? I feel amazing. Dude, you killed it. Your set was dope, bro. Thank you so much. Skip Jack has been around since like June of uh, 96. We have a new record called Brand New Wings. It's a uh, it's got six new songs and two cover songs, and it's coming out on 10-inch vinyl from Ooh, 10 inch. Melodic Punk Style Ooh, in Holland. Nice. So uh, we're super, super pumped on it, super proud of the songs. Second record that we produced, mixed, everything ourselves, no outside help, everything in-house. Jordan Hamilton, by the way. The label wanted a little bit more material than what we had recorded. Originally, it was either going to be two 7-inches or... I wanted to do a, a 10 inch with six songs on one side and six songs instrumental punk karaoke on the other side with no nice. vocals on it. Nice. That was my idea. But instead, we're going to do eight and we have a Descendants cover and an Ignite cover Ooh, on the record. Nice. Which Descendants cover? That was a label. Bike Itch. Nice. We're doing Bike nice. Itch and nice. Fear is Our Tradition. Fear is Our Tradition. You are yeah, right. nice. It was on a Felony Records comp. Ooh, okay. So I remixed it, remastered it, and it's nice. on our new record. It's nice. a little hidden hidden little thing on side B. We worked with like some of the best producers that this town has to offer and still to this day like I, I tip my hat because I credit a lot of what we learned and why we're here now based on what they taught us but I knew that I like they, all the records our first like five records I was pleased when they were done but we always had this element of it never captured what we did. It doesn't mm. sound there's like we do live. Left. There's a reason you never left. Yeah. It, San Diego. There's just a little piece of it that it doesn't represent we what we do live. And it's not their fault. They were doing their job. Yeah. So the fact that we do it ourselves, I could be in my living room screaming all day until it's just nasty enough that I go, that's the take. And yeah. I keep that line. Yeah. And our last two records have been exactly what we planned when we left because it was only us. 
a friend of mine, my best friend growing up, he passed away last year from cancer. Oh, man. And uh, Brand New Wings, the idea behind that, when you go into a cancer hospital, every door, depending on where their stage is, where they're at, there's a different colored butterfly. So on his, there was a blue butterfly on his door. And those were, the blue butterfly actually represents a transformation between lives. Hmm. So as those that are transforming into the next live, that's what the, that's what the blue butterfly is. So hence our album and our title song is called Brand New Wings, it's about him. And uh, he refused all of his pain treatment. He battled cancer for nine years. He refused all of his pain treatment. Wow. And I was sneaking him in every type of edible under the sun in hospital and he would send me pictures <laughs> like this it's like oh you got me a good one this time like he's going through two rounds of chemotherapy a day and he was just laid back smiling that's you know getting uh, bone marrow transplants and everything now, unfortunately and it wasn't the cancer that killed him his liver died because of the chemo oh wow so and it, it, in, in the end he ended up beating it but it was the uh it was the chemo that ended up killing him wow. so that's wow. what our record's for Wow. Uh, yeah, and my father uh, died of cancer too. So it's, it's, ugly, it's tough. It's, it's tough. Ugly, ugly animal. And you know what? Um, I don't have much of a history. Like I, I never smoked too much because I'm a lightweight. Mm -hmm. Like I'm an Advil guy. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. A super, super lightweight. But I got to see firsthand, like his day in and day out, like the most positive. Like he, he would have died a lot earlier because it was all liver based. Mm -hmm on his drug intake yeah, alone. Yeah. So the fact that he stuck with what he stuck with and didn't go for the, the standard drugs, it, it added four or five years onto his life from, from where he was. Amazing. So That's amazing. My hat and my arms will always be off and open to all of it. What's a memorable show? I'd say throw three off the top of my head. Yeah. We played it Street Scene. I don't know if many people remember Street Scene when it was here in the 90s. Uh, I've heard, I've heard, so I've heard good things. Street Scene 97, our stage was, and granted, we'd only been together like a few months. Yeah. I yeah. was playing drums at the time. I wasn't Woo. even the singer in the beginning. So it was us, then Buck 09, then nice. Rocket from the Crypt, Less Than Jake, and Social Distortion on our stage. Wow. So, and this was our first, first, That's your first it was show. like our third show ever. Wow. 20,000 people. So while we were warming up, well, we had to be there at like nine in the morning for our sound check. Mm -hmm. And off in the distance, I see this shiny red light, this little glittery guy just singing his ass off. Red suit, nine in the morning. And there's like a crowd gathered around for their sound check. Like, what guy. is that? It was Ray Charles. So Ray Charles was the headliner on the main stage that day. So wow. literally as uh, the young Skipjack guys are over here playing drums for three months, you know, you imagine how that sound check sound. We look across and see Ray Charles warming up and that so that probably takes the cake is like wow. literally yeah not directly but i could say really good. we played with you ray played charles. with ray charles yeah yeah and then um doing uh we did a little mini go through with the remains after joey ramon died the remainder of the ramones okay and i don't remember what year it was but um that that part of the tour ended in the last couple shows were us and Dee, Dee ramon and uh, we had two days off be before our last shows, and the last show was going to be here, and this is where he's going to announce his retirement and everything be done. He, he overdosed the night before. Oh, wow. So I actually still have all the unused tickets from our last show. Wow. That one. Yeah, and then, that's going to stick. Yeah. So out of my three, there's those two. And then, believe it or not, Vanilla Ice. Do, 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 do. Like, do, 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 do. Oh, that's copyright. super, super good, super good dude. Yeah. And his show goes off. Yeah? Like, goes off. It was amazing. <laughs> like, his crowd was feeding off <laughs> us <laughs> and, and vice versa. Like, the real deal. If anybody, believe it or not, if you get a chance to see that guy one yeah, time. Yeah, because there's always, like, those re rewind, yeah, the rewind drop. the 90s, like, concert, Josh, like, the no, festivals. And he, and he yeah. told us in the backstage area, he goes, the difference between me and all those guys in that era, and he's like, you know, MC Hammer and all these guys, he's like, it was weird that we're having a conversation with Vanilla Ice about MC Hammer. You know, like, go figure. Like, all these guys were like, oh, this is our end game. You know, this is going to be like this forever. And they partied and bought mansions and wrecked Ferraris and stuff like that. He goes, I didn't spend any of my money. I invested in real estate. I was smart. Yeah. Like, just spent all of his money still today. And most people know is Ice Ice Baby is the biggest selling rap single of all time. 
I had that it's on cassette. Registered as I had it on cassette. The most selling rap single of all time. I believe it. I believe so it. he's like, at the that time. That was like the heyday of like. Off from Bowie. Yeah, and, and, and at the time we played with him, he, he went through, you know, uh, it was to promote uh, a show that he had coming out. Like, like he was going to fix show. houses yeah, and yeah, flip yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So slowly he's like taking some of his inventory and getting paid to sell his own house, which he was going to. So the guy's really, that's a, really that's a smart, smart. That's a smart move right there. Really, like he looks very healthy and very happy. You know, like he's yeah. doing very good for himself. But I'd have to say Vanilla Ice, The Remains, and uh, Ray yeah. Charles would have to be uh, my top three of all time. <laughs> All right, Chad, that's going to do it for our time. Thank you so much for your time, for your interview, everything. My dude, pleasure. keep it rocking, bro. I really, My really pleasure. appreciate it. Um, dude, we need, more, we need more people like you in the San Diego for area for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Keep it live. KNSJ 89.1, Nug Nerds. Big shout out to Red Eye Nation, Holding Company, Jetty Extracts, everybody that supports us. Thank you, thank you so much. Bump Box SoCal. Everybody, thank you so much. We'll see you uh, next time. Keep it locked, KNSJ. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, South Bay's legends, South Town General. How's everybody feeling out there? Well, thank you very much for coming out tonight. Thank you. 